Oh, there's nothing new about this. For every girl must have had 35 hours flying time before being admitted to Avenger Field. And each month, each plane finds a new girl at the controls. For each month, finds scores of girls qualifying for various flying missions, including the ferrying of planes from endless assembly lines. Time is the very essence of their work. Last minute instructions before the supervisor gets into the buddy seat. A discreet but vigilant backseat driver. Advanced students get twin engine ships. Tower girls, not WASP trainees, give the go signal. In these PT-19s, they learn the Army way. Though each girl is a pilot when she comes, she must adjust herself to a new technique, and hairdos are sacrificed. Nothing goes on or up unrecorded by the tower watch. The girls have the identical type used by the cadets at Randolph Field. Mass training proves the girls to be superior at instrument flight, but not men's equal in reaction to emergencies. Their emblem is called a Fifanel, the gremlin's little sister. Always trust a Fifanel, they say. And every girl an American champion in the staggering job of eclipsing the sun with our wings and burying our foes with our bombs. Isn't she a beauty? Oh, you said it, brother. And brains, too. It takes brains to read these instruments. Time out for the daily sun bath, storing up energy against the grueling training of minds and bodies for the tremendous responsibilities that lie ahead. Six American beauties. Twelve, for there's a pilot and co-pilot in each. And ever more girls applying at Avenger Field, eager to fly for Uncle Sam eager to win the wings and assume the duties for which women were once deemed unfit. Unfit? Oh, physical standards as rigid as for their brothers at Randolph Field. Graduates now, they're members of the Women's Air Force Service Pilots, fearless as falcons and twice as fast. And in their new and unusual occupation, these modern girls are still the feminine heirs to a noble tradition of pioneering strength and courage. Off they go to be conveyed to other ferry stations or to factories in the continental United States in order that they may deliver new fighter and trainer planes to masculine fighting hands. Stronger hands, perhaps, but no more valiant than those of their sisters, the Wasps.